kind of always trips people out. They're driving down the road and they see a guy in the back with a steering wheel. This is station 224, city of San Bernardino. Out of the station, we run Medic Engine 224 and Medic Truck 224. On the last firehouse survey, Medic Engine 224 came back at the number four busiest engine in the nation, just below 7,000 calls a year. Roughly 25 a shift. There's so many calls that we're dealing with that a lot of times our engine's tied up and then the truck is next out. What makes it a truck is the big ladder on top. In the department, we have six staff ladder trucks. We have a driver, our engineers, who drive the front, and then we have our firemen, tiller operators, and they drive the back. This truck that's significantly longer than the fire engine can get just about everywhere we can get this fire engine because we can steer the front and the back. In the city of San Bernardino, we'll do a lot of low angle rescues. So you have Waterman Canyon, you have Highway 330. These cars go over the side. We have rope systems and rigging that we can get personnel down. Our recent fires, we had the hospitality fire I'm down off the 10 freeway. It was two story commercial office buildings. I was second in truck. I was working on this truck that day. Our first alarm was five engines, two trucks. A second alarm is doubling that first alarm. And a third alarm is tripling that. There's a fire in the middle, which is unique to a lot of our structure fires, it lit three sides of that building off at once, so it made it a very challenging fire. When I first started like to work, we could call it a 72. Like, man, I'm working a 72, I don't know how I'm gonna get through it. Now, it's like, I'm working a 120. Uh, this is awesome, I get to go home soon. 12 calls a day was, that was insanely busy. Now we're doing 12 calls before lunch. We you got calls, you gotta go. So you're 20 days of, you know, a couple hours of sleep a night, and. It gets rough. The stresses facing today is a lot more significant. So you have the stress of that many more calls, exposed to that many more types of different calls and uh, gruesome calls. There's lack of sleep, which affects your mental health, your physical health, staffing shortage nationwide. So now you're working our personnel extended days. So you stack that on it. We've recognized that there's a problem. And we have several programs in-house and then we have professional companies uh, contracted with where our guys can reach out and kind of deal with it. Everyone handles different levels differently. You could go 25 years of your career, not be affected at all. And it could just be one call that for whatever reason triggers your brain. And you see it enough, you know, a lot of us get affected by it. Some of the stressors we, we can't help, it's nature. Uh, I mean, this engine and many engines around this city and the department, they're so busy, sleep is not really an option so close crew crew continuity we laugh we have fun we have a good time and that helps but you know we're big into physical fitness anything we can control to kind of bring that down we definitely do that pick you up seems like the the barrier of the the culture of the you know just toughen up get through it a lot of that's been broken down i think uh, more and more personnel are feeling comfortable reaching out for help i've had some memorable calls where i've dealt with it just with that you know strong home life and good crew and stuff like that but i definitely do my research and help okay. guys out we definitely take care of our own there you go Yay. i'm eric spees captain samuel county fire and i'm proud to serve you